It's a brand new season and a brand new video mailbag. Max Henson of Panthers.com here with you, of course. We're once again presented by Cinta. Look, you guys know the drill. Let's get right to the questions. First one, do you think there will be one receiver or running back who has a big game, or will the ball be spread evenly this week? You know, look, I think North Turner has made this pretty clear throughout the offseason. He wants the ball spread around. I mean, that's going to be a main objective for Cam Newton. Wants all those receivers involved, active and engaged in the game. Wants to make it harder on defenses to not really know where the ball is going. Having said all that, if there's one player I'm going to look to, it's Christian McCaffrey. I mean, he's going to be a focal point for this offense going forward. They want to keep him involved. We saw in the preseason him getting touch after touch throughout those first three games. I think he'll have a big outing against Dallas, and if he does, that'll be a huge key to success against the Cowboys. Do you think Dante Jackson and James Bradbury play 5-8-4-8-3-8-3-8 yards off and get burned by the Cowboys' subpar wideouts? And how do you think our nickelbacks hold up against Colt Beasley? There's a lot of attitude in that question. Uh, not, not, not so much a fan of the uh, negative energy here at the start of the season. Come on now. But look, I get what you're saying, playing off during the preseason. I don't expect to see that here at the start of the regular season. I would expect to see those corners up and aggressive at the line of scrimmage, try to challenge these Dallas wideouts. And look, to your question about them being subpar, that's exactly what the Cowboys hope the Panthers are thinking at this point. Uh, the Panthers can't go into this game with that kind of mindset. They may not have Des Bryant anymore. There may not be Jason Witten on this Dallas roster anymore. But still, these, these Dallas receivers are in the NFL for a reason. These guys can make you pay if you don't take them seriously. The Panthers certainly know they can't afford to be lax in that area. As far as Cole Beasley, look to Captain Munderland. I mean, this is a guy who had a very up and down. 2017 season, it's going to be his job to stay with Cole Beasley, who is a name you recognize on this Dallas offense. We'll see how Captain fares. Who is starting at safety? Adams and maybe Galden. Also, any update on left tackle? Well, the starting safety situation is going to be Mike Adams and Denora Searcy. You can't forget about the veteran they brought in. Yeah, he got hurt earlier in the preseason, but he's back at full strength now. You're going to see him pairing with Adams, that safety spot. The rookie Galden might work his way in towards the latter part of the season as he gets a little more comfortable. As far as the left tackle spot, that's Taylor Moten's right now. I mean, Matt Khalil's on IR as he works back from that knee injury. It's Taylor Moten who's going to make his first career start here against the Cowboys on Sunday at left tackle. The right tackle spot is really where the bigger questions are. We'll see if Darrell Williams is healthy enough to give this one a go. Alrighty, last question this week. Any chance we see chrome helmets on Sunday? Chrome helmets? I don't know. Chrome like, like this old thing? Yeah, as cool as this is, they're not going to be wearing chrome helmets on Sunday against the Cowboys. You can actually find these at the team store if you're interested enough in trying to pick one up yourself but I'm going to be wearing the usual silver in the home opener but I don't know never say never to something like that you know, I know everyone's curious about those black helmets uh, these days what the Panthers are doing with their uniform combos I don't know maybe not this year but sometime down the line just have to wait and see